Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is how to be a better runner. I want to explain what I've done to become a better runner and what probably will work for you too. There's a lot of good helpful tips I'm going to go, but I want to be quick because I want this video to be short and precise. First of all, you have to surround yourself with other good runners. If you're going to run with bad runners or runners that aren't up to your ability or runners that complain or runners that don't go out that often and runners that don't push you and runners that have no oomph and runners that 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 aren't looking at the bigger picture you're not going to look at the bigger picture I run with all types of runners because I'm a very social runner I like to talk I like to I, you know I find as the aspect of, of running very social I enjoy that so I enjoy running which makes me run more however I do run with runners that are better than me I run with runners that have ran many more miles than me. I run with runners that are fa I run with runners that are faster than me. I run with runners that are going to give me an adventure. I run with runners that are going to push me. And what do we talk about when we run? We talk about how they're pushing themselves and how they want to do bigger, better, faster, stronger runs. Okay, that's what we talk about. So it's very energizing. It's really energizing. Before I know it, I'm outperforming my past performances. Running is a mental game, just like most athletic things. It's a mental, most athletic, most athletic sports, it's a mental game. You've got to be in it mentally. So if you think you can't do something, you're not going to do it. If you're thinking big, dreaming big, you have a much better shot of achieving. So you need to visualize. Visualization is an important component of running. The first time I ran up the mountain here, I can run up the mountain now backwards. The first time I ran up the mountain years and years ago, 12 years ago, I drove the mountain with my car. I analyzed everything. I analyzed where it would give me problems, and I visualized myself breaking through those problems. I visualized myself hitting the top of the mountain. I visualized every step of the way that I thought would give me a problem, and I worked it out in my head. Right? It was all worked out in my imagination, in my head, in my brain. So by the time I got there, physically got there, real time got there, my brain had already solved any of the problems that I thought I would have ever have had. The problems were solved. It's extremely, extremely effective visualization. A lot of athletes do it. Read good books. So read really good books. I surrounded myself last year with a ton of running books. Dean Carnassus, Scott Jurek, Chrissy Wellington. Um, phenomenal book. The Cool Impossible by Eric Orton. The Cool Impossible, if you think it's impossible, it's worth doing, is the point of the book. Plus, it focuses, focuses a lot on proper technique and training. <sighs> nutrition, you've got to have a good, solid nutrition program. A lot of people run because they want to eat bad. So they think, oh, if I run, I deserve to eat bad. Wrong. When you run, you stress your body out. That's when your body needs maximum nutrition, best nutrition. That's when your body needs lots and lots of fruits and veggies, lots and lots of high quality carbohydrates, high quality carbohydrates, high quality starches. Um, the best book for me, what worked really phenomenal is the 80-10-10 diet from Dr. Douglas Graham. But you know, I really love the starch solution from uh, McDougal. McDougal's starch solution, potatoes, corn, beans, rice, but, uh, lots and lots of high quality starches. Okay, he explains the whole diet in there. Potatoes. I was losing a lot of weight eating potatoes last year when I lost when I lost weight. Potatoes. So he talks about the high energy diet that people that eat this diet all of a sudden have the energy to do things. It's a phenomenal. McDougal, uh, Doctor McDougal. Look him up. The Starch Solution. Look up Douglas Graham 801010. Look up Raw Till Four. It's another great program. You need high quality, high quality carbohydrates in your diet. Not just carbohydrates. You want to avoid the bad carbohydrates. You want to fuel your body with the good stuff that is that is fed civilization after civilization after civilization. If you look at the one some of the best runners in the world, like the Tarahumara Indians, they survive on an 80% carbohydrate diet, high quality carbohydrate, a starch diet. They survive on that, and they are the running people of the world. They are amazing runners. Douglas Graham's program, 80-10-10, is 80% carbohydrates. The starch solution, again, a very high, complex, high-quality carbohydrate that tops out at 80% carbohydrates. So, those are my tips to be a better runner. 
And of course, you just gotta get out there and do it. Push yourself. The right equipment's necessary. Really, really, really necessary. If you run, if you have winters like I do here in New York, the better cold gear you have, the more you're gonna want to go out. The more enjoyable it's gonna be. Some people listen listen to music. I listen to books. I find I lock my earphones in, listen to a good book, and I can run for an hour, two hours, and knock out a good portion of an audiobook. I listen to audiobooks. Um, motivational books. I, I listen to Tony Robbins. I, I listen to, I just got listen to another Jack Canfield book. Um, so I listen to a lot of powerful, motivational, uh, per, uh, not only performance, sports performance, but just just to gear myself up mentally for, for, for my business um, and, my, and my personal life. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Hope that helps. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely pass it on.